What is happening, Mr. Mark Bare Naked Willie? Boy, do you smell good today. How are you, my friend? Oh, the scratch and sniff microphone is happening. I could smell the coastal saltwater breeze heading your direction. I wish it was yeah. also a sandy beach, Dave. Welcome, everyone, to BS Friday Live. Dave Cooper in the house. This is great, man. It is great. We have another kickoff happening on our show, which I always love to do. And I'll tell you, Mark, these scratch and sniff speakers, man, I can't believe you actually get the smell coming through the speaker. It's an amazing thing. You know, unfortunately, you and I are the only two people that have them. Uh, and yeah, our first test, uh, the the dirty laundry smell got confused with the bubblegum one. And uh, so I don't think we're ready for market yet. Well, not not yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Once the jelly beans are worked out, we'll get it there for everybody. All right, Mark. So uh, considering it is BS Friday, but we're not talking about the BS most people think we're talking about. We're talking about building science. And today is going to be a great kickoff for some building science. What do we have coming up? Um, I can't tell you, Dave. Huh. But, oh, no. But... I can uh, I can get excited because there's so many platforms that people are already tuning in on, like LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Because oh. only the cool kids are on Twitch, like Mr. Greg Ugaldi, always joining us from that. Twitch, bringing in the next generation of home builders. I love it. By the way, we really appreciate Matt Bloomquist. Uh, last week, our friends on LinkedIn, we. We didn't get the upload feed, and uh, and Dave published it back out later, and uh, and, and you all gave your comments and shared it along. It was, a, it was a wonderful part one, and he accepted our challenge live to come back for part two. Uh, Matt is actually friends with some of our guests later today, so you might hear his name mentioned again. Matt was actually phenomenal last week. And it's amazing anytime that somebody spends the energy and effort to help educate our youth, to build it better, take things to the next level. That's what the show is all about. Not just this one, but all the other shows that you do and I do outside of this show. And I think uh, we're going to keep pushing that agenda. And when I say agenda, the agenda is we need more young people. We need smart minds and we need to think healthier about the way we're building. Uh-oh. Did, did you get your high school diploma? You can't read this unless you have really good eyes. But uh, Dog construction surprises. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday was, uh, flashing. was flashing awareness day. So I, I, I was I was wearing this shirt yesterday. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the, the dusty old beard gets in the way, but uh, it's all about educating. And Dave, the hashtag that they that they gave for the event was yeah. apprenticeship is an obligation. Apprenticeship is an obligation. I love that I love hashtag. It. Bless your hearts, uh, Big Dog Construction, for bringing flashing to our industry. Man, I, Mark, I, I'm sorry I called 911. You can't be running around flashing people like that. It's not real nice. That's why you're you gonna... weird, right? It's a like quick flash. <laughs> it's like a trench coat. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. All right, let's keep this show rated the PG version for today. All right, That's so right. listen, Mark, we got, we got one hour, less than an hour already at this point. Uh, we have some guest speakers coming on. We got an event coming up that we need to talk about. Not only do they have an event, they do their own shows. But first, first, I think there's a there's a there's there's a bogey flying by. Yeah, and uh, and and I and I like to say we all need more bends in our life. Hundred percent. So. Ben, 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 bogey in the house. What's happening, Ben? Yo! Hopefully you guys can hear me. How already. are you, my uh, friend? I'm well. I'm a little hot, hot and sweaty and steamy. It's, well, you know, he, that's all right. We're at over 100 here in Connecticut today, so I'm loving life. Um, happy to be with you, you guys. Well, we're... 
We're happy to hear you. I'm getting a little delay and cutting in and out on your internet there. So we'll give it a try. Anyhow, you, you look frozen. Are you still with us, Ben? All right, Ben, here's my advice. Go to another part of the house and jump back in when you have a, when you, when we can hear you. Can you hear us? Oh yeah. He's moving, Dave. Try your audio nice. real quick, Ben. All right, let's, uh, we'll bring Ben back in. But in the meantime, let's continue on with what we have going here. So we'll give him a minute to jump around. Um, so for our next guest, you didn't see that. There's still a surprise guest introduction. You have no idea what it is. And remember, I can see everything you're doing in the fish tank. So don't be picking stuff and don't be smoking stuff. But, but you can drink a beer if you want. Whoa, that's a clue right there. Um so, Dave, we'll, let's give Ben one more try, and, and if the signal's off, uh, then uh, we'll, 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 we'll skip the surprise intro, and we'll get right to our buddies on the other line. All right, let's try it again. Ben, you with us now? I'm with you guys. Spotty signal here. Awesome. That's all right. Just don't move. Yeah. Just stay right where you are. <laughs> If you guys are okay, I'll kill my camera so then you guys get audio feed from me if that's okay. Yeah, go for it. Perfect, Ben. Thanks. Go for it. Okay. Yeah, happy to be with you guys. Uh, Mark just called on me recently uh, about a half an hour ago to hop on the show and introduce two of my good friends, uh, Travis Brungar and Joe Cook, or as I like to refer to them as the J in silent Bob of the conscientious building world. Um, so behind every big mouth is a big brain. And uh, so obviously you can put those two together and figure out which is which there. Uh, I first met Travis and Joe at the Fine Home Building Summit, the inaugural Fine Home Building Summit. Uh, we hit it off quickly, chatting about everything building related. Um, and then I've had the opportunity to work with them moving forward through the BS and Beer Show and uh, other, you know, virtual events that we've done. Conscientious builders that fully represent what we need more of and that I, I, I think they need to put aside and take ownership of how great they really are. But I consider them uh, gentlemen and scholars and a pleasure to know them. Um, the fact that they've worked to put together this Midwest Building Science Symposium is really humbling. Uh, and I'm personally thrilled uh, to be a part of it. Of it, though it does make me question their judgment on them picking me to be part of it. <laughs> uh, I'm happy to be a part of it, and uh, in the presence of so many, uh, you know, people that I, I respect and look up to in the industry. So uh, I really have to give big hats off and kudos to these guys. I'm thrilled to be part of this Midwest Building Science Symposium. If you're not registered for it yet and you have the opportunity, you need to register and get out there. Uh, I'm putting together a, a great presentation that's build is a you know a look back at the past 50 years of high performance building but i think we're probably going to take it back several centuries and really look at how we've gotten to where we are right now with the built environment um, and where i think things are headed and peter yo steve basic jake bruton gert and you know we can't get any better it's going to be a great event and i really hope everybody uh reaches out and supports it and attends if you can wow perfect perfect you, you're coming through crystal clear now, so try your camera so we can see that uh, that pretty mug. Are you uh, you have a trench coat beard as well? <laughs> this sweaty, this sweaty face. Yeah, I do. I, my uh, my uh, shirt's not nearly as risque as as Mark's. Is, but, uh. <laughs> oh, love it, love it. All right, so with that, why don't we bring in our guests? Uh, and let them tell us a little bit about who they are. Once they get into uh, telling us who they are, Ben, we're going to pop you up and stick around if you want to come back in at the end and uh, join us for the closing on this. So let's welcome, drum roll please, Mark. It. Bam, Travis and Joe Cook. How are you, fellas? Fantastic. Oh, man. Thanks for having us. drinking us. beer. What is that? Is it IPA? What are you drinking? This is a, a Boulevard beer product from right here in Kansas City. Uh, we are hosting our second annual Midwest Building Science Symposium at the Boulevard Brewery. And so what's in the glass is always Boulevard. Uh, Joe's an IPA man. I'm more of a Hefeweizen guy myself. Oh, Hefeweizen and IPA. Well, this is cool, guys. So, I mean, 
second time uh, around for your for your new upcoming event. Before we hop into it, though, we want to know everything about both of you from the moment you were born to this very moment in time. Do not leave out any of the good stuff from the hospital or Mrs. Willie will be calling you. And when she does, she will give us the full scoop live on this channel. So don't lie. I know beer can make people lie. So don't lie. Let's hear it. Go for it. You only have two minutes. Oh, Joe's drinking. Two minutes. Okay. So I was born to a, a police officer and an accountant here in uh, a neighborhood about a mile from here and went to school and church with this guy growing up. Joe was an altar boy at the church that I went to. We went to uh, middle school and high school together, although we didn't really become great friends until after that and uh, started doing some mountain biking and fun stuff like that together. Eventually both ended up working as builders at the same company. And then 2008 happened. And uh, we decided to kind of go off on our own. Uh, and someone else helped us with that decision as sometimes happens, you know, when layoffs happen, you gotta do something, right? So uh, anyway, we've been building as Catalyst Construction since. I'll let Joe give you his younger years. Uh, but I will tell you that what's special about Catalyst is that we, we self-perform as much as we can. We're a small company and we like to keep our hands in every single thing so that it has our attention to detail on it. That's what people are hiring us for. So uh, we went ahead and got licensed in all the trades. Uh, I'm a master electrician. We've got our HVAC license. Joe's a master plumber, carries the general contractor's license. And we've got a couple guys working with us that uh, we've been apprenticing for a number of years. So that's uh, that's birth to now on that front. Um, born in California, uh, lived in New York, moved to Kansas City when I was six. And uh, yeah, fast forward to uh, current, we, uh, we do uh, as much as the market will bear. We do as much high performance homes as we can. And we also have a successful remodeling company that we do. So we have, uh, yeah, it's, it's all under one umbrella, but we're the catalyst is uh, multifaceted. We also would be remiss to not mention our nonprofit organization, uh, which is a huge part of the, uh, the event that we're kind of here to talk about today. Um, a couple of years ago, Joe and I were at our contractors licensing classes which are, we have great contractor licensing here. We have excellent building inspectors in our jurisdictions. Uh, it's really a good community. We're very fortunate to have it. And at the contractor licensing classes, we met with uh, Joe Nichols of Thrive Building Solutions. And he's a consultant who, you know, he reps for Aero Barrier and Alpha and a bunch of fantastic products. And we were watching the Aero Barrier video of the This Old House show uh, and talking about how there's this thing called BS and Beer that Mike Maines is putting up on Instagram. And this, you know, going back several years, it's like, oh man, I wish I could sneak up to Maine about once a month to learn from the, the big guys doing building science up there. And uh, he was like, yeah, that's a good idea. We should do something like that here. Like, yeah, went back to class. Then he got an email two days later that said, so I set that up for next Tuesday. Is that cool by you? And we, uh, we started our own BS and beer chapter here in Kansas City. Uh, we did a meeting at BKS Brewery with, uh, I don't know, what, 60 people there. It was a ridiculous turnout. Yeah. We made the mistake of saying, hey, we'll buy the beer. If, if builders want to come out and learn about building science, Joe and I are buying. So we packed the house. And uh, <laughs> since then, month, uh, hosting uh, architects, designers, engineers, uh, vendors, bankers, uh, home appraisers. Uh, we've had, I think, over three or 400 different people uh, in attendance over the years, yeah. never all at once. Although we did have over 100 at the Building Science Symposium last year. Uh, so. Our nonprofit, uh, the bsandbeerkc.org uh, website that is probably up here somewhere, is a way to find out what events we have coming, what events are past, who you can get in touch with if you want to start your own BS and Beer in your neck of the woods. If you're not in Kansas City and can't make it to ours, there's the BS and Beer Show, hosted by Green Building Advisor on Thursdays. There's a lot of different ways to, to learn more and do better, and that's really what we're about, is just trying to share that. Kind of like some other people we know. Right, Mark? Right, Dave? B S and beer. I'm gonna I'm gonna toast to you guys. Oh, nice. Uh, it's just ginger beer, but it's good ginger beer. Solid. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. All right, all right. Before you guys tie one on, we got to get through some uh, educational stuff here. All right. Uh, and then what I would like to do is, uh, any of you guys got a beer funnel handy that uh, I figure maybe you guys can fill the beer. Mark can open his mouth. We'll run the beer funnel down to Mark. First time ever. I mean, we already got snap, scratch and sniff speakers. Mark and I can smell each other. Imagine if we could do beer funnels on the show. 
Well, well, thankfully, Joe's a plumber, right? <laughs> so we should yeah. be able to get the right fittings involved and, and create the proper pitch so that the flow is ideal, right? We, we ought to be right. able to have the world's best beer bong. <laughs> working on it. Oh, I, I love it. I'm, I'm going to work on seeing if I can get a beer bong for the show right now, Mark. While we're at it. <laughs> I'll see if I can feed you something. All right. So listen, guys. I mean, if we really get into what Catalyst is, like you, I, I put it up there a little earlier. You're a vertically integrated trades people, right? I mean, you're plumbers, you're electricians, you're framers, you're builders, you're building science, you're beer drinkers, right? They go Mechanical, hand electrical, plumbing, and general contracting under one right. roof. It's the ideal recipe for a successful company. And it's not just what the company yeah. is successful of, but think of the, the, the overlap then on how well that makes the project and the meeting the expectations of, of the assumingly unaware clients, right? That's right. Yeah, there's a lot to that. I feel like there's, you know, obviously it starts with the integrated design approach and the collaboration that Mark's always talking about uh, at the front end of the job when you're planning it. It's pretty pretty helpful to have someone who understands the challenges of getting the stack through the roof when you've put all the LVL directly above the wet wall, that's a pretty good thing for a guy to know who's sitting at the table. Um, it, it makes a big difference. The, the electrons will go where I want. They don't care up and down, but uh, it's a little different when you want what goes in the toilet to get out of the house. It's pretty important. Yeah. <laughs> Very important. Hey, Joe, do you ever ask for Travis's help when you're doing the plumbing or do you keep him at arm's length? No, uh, on our last project, he helped me. Uh, he did a whole bathroom on his own. And it's it's watertight, so electrician can plumb, and I I also will do wiring. So. And we all run ductwork. Everybody everybody at Catalyst does everything. Uh, Joe and I spend a lot of time sweeping the floors and going to the dump. And we've got right now, so that we can talk to you guys. We have our guys James and Quentin. I think Quentin's wiring and James is plumbing on one of our additions a couple miles from here right now. So we are very much uh, of the belief that you really want that Swiss army knife that, that do it all, or at least know it all um, contractor or project manager manager on your project. Because if you don't understand all the aspects that are going into the building, how can you possibly execute them well? So while we don't physically touch every single thing in every job, it does have our oversight and our level of understanding of that integration. And I think that's probably the key to our success. Although for a long, long time now, we've been saying, People only call us because we do a good job cleaning up. Like that's the one thing that your, your past clients will tell you. Like, oh, I just loved how you guys would always answer the phone when I called. And you know, at the end of the day, there's always Joe and Travis sweeping the floor. Like, well, yeah, but did you see that we made it so that your wall assembly is a R30 and you don't have any air leakage? Aren't you comfortable? I'm like, yeah, but we really like being able to get a hold of you. <laughs> okay. Well, you, you know, know, it all that is so important. Yeah. It, it's very important. I learned a motto from a, a framing yeah. crew in Iowa one time, uh, Joe and Travis, Dave. And and the, the guy says the only thing people want to see on the job site is progress. So when when you guys take those steps to clean and organize at the end of the day, that is something that impacts the consumer's eye point. But truthfully, you guys know that that impacts the next day's progress, Right. Because clutter and things right. in the way affect the, the, the sequencing of the morning. Because when the morning comes, there's guys that are morning guys that they drop their, their buckets, they put up their belts, and they roll, right? And then there's other guys like, hey, when is that stuff going to be moved? Can't do my job, right? It, it's just a scapegoat. And there's no scapegoats when you're self-performers, right? It's Absolutely. all under your hat. We know whose fault it is. It's always, it's always going to land here. And we also know who's going to fix it. You know, it's, there's no way. There's no way it's the altar boy's fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, that's just that's just not fathomable. <laughs> oh, well, I love it. I do think well, that there's something to be said about the whole mise en place philosophy, where you you need you need to really set everyone up for success. So if we're self performing, yeah, of course we set our tools where we're going to be able to efficiently work and. Uh, and our our communication styles with our guys is the same. We want to make sure that uh, you know the guys that are hanging drywall don't have to move sixty bundles of insulation, or you know uh, they don't have to step over two by cutoffs. 
that the job right. needs to be clean and ready for whoever's working. And that, that goes all the way through whether we're doing the work or whether it's a large enough job that we have to subcontract some of it to keep it on schedule. That kind of organization should allow your insurance provider to give you a discount because there's not going to be injuries. Yeah, we're just over here counting our money from all yeah. the savings on that one, Mark. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. We just they had to open up a whole separate bank account just for it. Yeah, <laughs> just just for it. How many? How many? How many uh, members are part of Catalyst? How many team members you have? Four. It's you're looking at the owners, and then we have two guys that work with us all the time, James and Quentin, and then we have. I mean, we've been doing this a long time. We have some really trusted trade partners. Our subcontractors yep. are kind of like family. They've got keys to the house. They've been in my house where my wife and kids sleep uh, without yep. without anyone watching. And so I figure if, if I can trust in that level, then we can extend that trust to our clients. And uh, that's worked out really well for us. we got great partners Perfect. in the industry. Yeah. So let, let's talk about the, uh, the, the science of this and the education and what you guys are doing. You know, so why in the world i mean you're you're super successful building houses got happy customers imagine that call somebody back and they're happy whether you're right or wrong if you just pick up the phone that's one of the biggest you know problems we have in this industry is just picking up the phone um why why did you guys decide to go out and actually start uh educating the world i'd say it's been a passion of travis's for probably two or three years before we actually executed it um he had been talking about Michael Mains and BS and beer. And it was, you know, we did construction instruction and started doing a few things kind of outside of our, you know, our, our day-to-day -day comfort zone. And then, yeah, really the, the catalyst in that equation was when we met Joe Nichols at contractor licensing. And he is part of thrive, but it's also yep. part of at the time was, uh, Prairie Design, which is a passive home company in Kansas City, and they're now Kala, and uh, great guys, um, open book, you know, you can go and ask the owner a question, he'll give you his details, their project management team is excellent, and it's a really, we decided, or we're trying to build it where we're, it's not a competition, it's a collaboration amongst the right. builders in this area to bring the whole level up, and it doesn't have to be passive, but if you're doing basic air sealing, using a better insulation, you know, obviously flashing, taping, just the, just the bare minimum. And you can do it well and pay attention to it. Everybody's right. is better. It's better for the clients. It's also better just as builders in general. So if we're going to a project, we're talking, you know, one language and hopefully whoever is bidding against it is talking the same language. That rising tide lifts all ships. So that was kind right. of the impetus for uh, the the BS and Beer KC group was to basically tell everyone, you know, we're colleagues, not competitors. There's plenty of work to go around. We're never going to miss a day of work. We never have. So if you get that job and we don't, that's great. I hope that you're the right fit for that client and they get the outcome that they want. So they're happy. Our, our buddies get the work. They're happy. And we're already busy. So we're happy. You know, everybody wins in that situation. So when we started having that kind of collaborative, um, you know, uh, Dave Schleicher and Joe Nichols sh sharing their details with us and then us being able to contribute to that as well, because we're kind of moving that way at the time, we were really starting to push into, you know, what, this is gonna get real, you know, weepy, so get your tissues out, fellas. <laughs> Joe and I both became fathers in the last eight to 10 years. Uh, is that right? Yeah, my son's 10. Uh, so. I think that when you become a parent, you immediately shift gears and become this sort of different person where all of a sudden you realize that you're not just responsible to your client and to your spouse and to your family, but now you're responsible to this next generation in a level, it basically eliminates selfishness. A good parent has lost all their selfishness. They have to go ahead and make sure that what they're putting out into the world is gonna leave the planet a better place for their kids to thrive in. So when that happened for for me especially, I know, and I think Joe would say he feels the same, then it becomes a lot more about not just how did we execute the plan and get this job done efficiently and make money and make sure the client was happy. Now it's about what about the next three families that live in this house? How many generations can we serve with this work? How many, how many ways can we use these resources better so that we're not being wasteful, so that our kids have clean air and clean water? And you just, you once you go down that path of responsibility, yeah. It just builds on itself and builds on itself. And then you start thinking about, well, wait a minute, I can't take all this knowledge that we've been working hard to gain 
and put it in the grave with me. I got to make sure that whatever I learned, I pass it on. If my kids aren't interested in it, let's let's find someone who will listen because if they know it, then it can keep making the industry better. And the people that are coming up behind us, they're going to innovate and improve beyond what we've ever imagined if we just give them that right. foundation to start from. Yep. Right. And you, you're right. All, all you know, the rising tide raises all ships. And I think you're you're spot on. And I here, here's a lesson for builders that are out there, business people that are out there. Uh, and Mark, I, I think you'll you'll vouch for this, even for myself. Once you start putting yourself out there, once you start sharing your knowledge, once you start publicly doing it, like you guys are doing with the BS and Beer Show and, and these other events we're getting ready to talk about, um, you, you, you make yourself not only an expert in your field, but to the consumer as well. I would imagine for you guys to build and sell a house, you don't even have to sell yourselves. It, it, you're probably in high demand and there's probably a waiting list, right? And, and I know I, I know how it's going, but we're close. We're working that way. Do you have but it, but, <laughs> but you have more out there than everybody else. We used to talk about this all the time, Mark. Remember with with Miles, when you put yourself out there, you're doing more than anybody else is doing that you're probably competing with in your area for business, which makes it easier for the consumer to sit there and say, hey, I like these guys. They know what they're they, they seem to know what they're talking about. They're doing all these events. I, I think it's a great thing that you're doing that. And I think it's I think it's not just for the people in the industry. I think it's a good education for the consumer as well. The the, the 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 thing about putting yourself out there the the word that came out for me and that was being accountable right and as contractors there's yep. many measures of being accountable and then uh i butcher words and sometimes when i butcher them it comes up with a phrase that sticks there you go dave's like dave's acknowledging that right so uh i think another way of saying accountable is count onable right so someone can count on you and that that's how we learn as craftspeople right uh, you see someone doing it and you want to figure it out so that they can count on you doing it the next time and you guys are doing that as a company and you're doing that as as individuals uh for for your team for your clients and for your community and that example allows people to not only learn the jobs you're doing, but the level of dedication and service That's right. that goes with it. It's, it's a, it's a self-perpetuating inspirational circle. It really is. Uh, it was pretty cool to have Ben Bogey introduce us because Ben's not getting about that uh, fine home building summit. That was a turning point for us. Like we, we were certainly aware of, the things that we could do to make our buildings perform better and to improve the quality of our work. Uh, and, you know, we've been subscribers to JLC and FHB for a long time. I've got a whole library of Taunton books. We, we knew that there were things out there that we could probably work toward and get better and better and better. Uh, but with the advent of social media and basically the discovering the building community on Instagram has been really helpful. The generosity of people like Steve Basic and, uh, and Jake Bruden, these guys will answer your message and tell you what they can to help you. And you see that happen again and again, and it makes you feel responsible and count honorable to everyone else who then reaches out to you and says, Hey, I, I'm trying to do that. What about this? Will this work? Can you give me some direction here? How about a little leadership? And that's what we got when we went to the Fine Home Building Summit. We were in a room of 200 people that all cared as much as we did about trying to make things better. And everyone was an open book everyone would just hey you want to ask me 20 questions i'll stand here and answer your 20 questions how can i make your job better how can i make it easier for you what products can i tell you to avoid what should you be trying you need t -stead. oh you want to eliminate thermal bridging i know a guy and that's how it all goes and every time these things happen and you even if it's not the right solution for you it, it just it's is that self-perpetuating um you know nuclear fusion going on in your brain where you're constantly like looking for the next thing to help someone else out, even if you can't use it on your job, the next guy that you talk to about it is like, oh no, it's perfect for me. Thank you. Be a library and keep the doors open, man. Spe speaking of thank yous, uh, I, I have, uh, I recorded a reel when I was in Kansas. Joe, I missed you. Apparently you, you took your one vacation day uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, and, yeah. <laughs> and Travis got off the couch, right? This is a joke, people. <laughs> they really don't take vacations. Um, so 
uh, I recorded a reel, and Dave, I think you saw it too, and it was a three-car garage filled yep. with a rock wool insulation, right? And it, 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 was, it was just something. So I'm thanking you guys for having a garage full of rock wool insulation because that got me some followers on Instagram. <laughs> um, so I want to segue for a second. I want to bring up a name. And when I bring up the name, you tell me what it is that pulled it together for you guys to, to bring this person to the symposium. So uh, the first name I'm going to give forward is Randy Williams. Randy's a great guy. Do you yeah. want to talk about um, Randy? He's fantastic. We met Randy at a summit, the summit and uh, he came to the symposium. He actually has come twice now for our BS and beer events. Um, the first one, uh, he did an excellent presentation. And the second one, he actually brought his blower to work, filled our house with smoke. And uh, we took our everyone there, like 25 people, and walked around and looked for our air leak. And uh, we were sub one, just for the record. Um, and so, yeah, I'm. He's a wealth of knowledge. Um, the guy who probably should be talking the most, who doesn't. And uh, I'm excited to see him in a couple weeks. Um, just uh, catch up and uh, pick his brain because you know we're going to be. Uh, oh, I love it! I nice. love it. Hey, Mark. So when. When you, Mark, are you going to the this symposium? Uh, if I if I say no, I'm going to have a lot of haters and controversy sells. So I could say no to get haters, but I'm trying my butt off to go. Uh, we have some equipment. We have some equipment coming, but you know, the barbecue and the beer and the Joe and the Travis and the Randy. Yeah. Hey. You guys want you guys want to have some fun with Mark Willie for the rest of the show? Let's do it. All right. So, Mark, every time you see this flash up, you got to show us your goods. Flash <laughs> us your goods. <laughs> Good times. So, every time it pops up, you're going to have to do your flash. All right. <laughs> Instead of a drinking game, Dave has invented the all male flash me game. <laughs> so many disappointing games for that. Yeah. All of a sudden, all of our all all, all, all of our uh, audience members have disappeared. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, they're out there. They're out there. Um, so, Mark, did you have anybody else's name you wanted to put up there? I want to get over to comments and questions here in a minute. And Joe. Um, I hope I didn't cut you off. It sounded like you finished, but if I cut you off, jump back in. Uh, I was good. Uh, so uh, that's name one. We'll do one more name drop, and then we'll do the, the, the hellos to the audience. The next name I'm going to give is Peter Yost. Pete Yost. So Peter's kind of like Andy in my mind in the so polite and relatively quiet, not the loudest voice at the table. It's the one that when you leave the table and you realize, oh, Pete Yost was sitting there. You're embarrassed that you spoke. You're like, oh, God, what did I say? He's so much smarter than me. He knows everything. Did I make a mistake, misstep that he was too polite to correct? Pete's just one of those guys that he's the encyclopedia. Like, you know, Steve Basic is telling you, yeah, if I have a question, I just call, I just call Pete. Like, that's a pretty good indication of the level of intellect that you're dealing with. Because obviously we look up to those guys. And then Peter's on that next level of building science education. Isn't he a professor at Yale? Uh, you just, come on. That's, that's an impressive resume for anyone, but particularly in our community, if you're a, a next level academic who's actually on the ladder, on the roof, blowing smoke through an assembly to make sure that the roof's venting properly, you have the respect of every framer and every roofer and everyone who's ever hung a sheet of drywall and you also have the respect of the Joe Stebrooks and the guys who really set the table in the building science community. So you can't say enough good things about Pete Yost. Uh, the wingnut testing stuff that he's done, the the idea of saying, I get that the AMA test is this. I get that it's UCL rated. I want to know, does this work in the field? Because if I float my little Tyvek boat in the water and it doesn't sink, that's not the same as <laughs> did the deluge hit the house for 40 minutes and my windows are now leaking. Pete's the guy. Pete's the guy who says, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to bust out the scientific method and I'll let you know what sealant works. I'll let you know what tape's going to fail. 
and then he'll send you out brand neutral to make your house work. Pete's fantastic. Yep. Yep. Perfect. That, that uh, I'm going to, I'm going to send this uh, to his Instagram account right now. Yeah. <laughs> he'll never see it. He'll jump, he'll jump in and, and start chatting. We can get him. We can get Mr. Yost on, on, I will somehow we'll get him and one way or the other. I'll, 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 I'll reference a joke on that a little later. Dave, do you want to pop to the Q and Q and C? Yeah. Well, listen, I know Mr. Basic's uh, out there watching. Hey, call Yost, Mr. Basic. Get him on here. Tell him a comment. All right, let's get moving here. All right, George Ryman in the house. Good morning from hot Phoenix, Arizona. What is happening, George? Here you go, Mark. Bob Kelly. He just walked the Catalyst Build job site the other day. Hey, Bob. He knows something about flashing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. look at you, Dave. Look at flag. Bob, Bob, I take you everywhere with me, man. <laughs> since we're since we're since we're now on this all male show, comment whatever Mark said about my. You know what, Mark? I've I've had enough. I've had enough, Mark. That's right. it. That's it. There it is. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever going to go away. <laughs> I, uh, I, I I think Big Dog would appreciate it. <laughs> All right, back back to the comments. Let's say hello to everybody. And by the way, when we come back from the comments, we are going to dive into this Midwest Building Science com uh, Symposium, and you guys are going to tell us all about it, right? Absolutely. How much, yeah. how much beer do you guys got left in your glasses? I want to make sure we got the, the intelligent level just went through the roof. Perfect. Let's get through this. We can get back. All right. <laughs> Andrew Seely is in the house. Happy Friday, folks. Flashing Day and Symposium are great topics for the community. Amen, I agree with Andrew. that. Amen. Doing the happy Friday. Love it. PH, everyone. Keep it up. Yeah. Happy Friday, guys and gals. Ben, thanks for the great intro. Absolutely. Hey, good to see you. Well, Shannon's busy today. Wow. That's maybe a month of August of rest. <laughs> maybe continuing installation could be rebranded as the building beer cozy. For yeah. Sure. Right, there you up. go. You guys. So Gilbert, we're going to need a couple of these. So you're going to have to send them up to us. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, Dave, maybe we should get together with some of our friends and make some beer koozies and use it to, uh, to teach about continuous insulation. I'd be up for that. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? Little Dave Cooper Live, BS Friday, continuous beer cools. <laughs> That's right. We'll, we'll make it like a four-hour episode so we can really enjoy ourselves. 24. 24 hours. 24 hours. All right. So the best beer in Honduras is called Salva Vida. This means lifesaver. <laughs> That's a great name for a beer, isn't it? All right, Mark, here you go. Scott Farman, always surprised to see how on point this old house team <laughs> is when it comes to envelope and system technology. Interesting. Uh, they stay up on it. It's pretty good. I I uh, I, I like Tom Silva. I think uh, he's my he's my favorite. Uh, we all have favorites, but he's my favorite. Well, yeah. the, the Thuy boys really know their stuff. When they start talking about performance on the inside, uh, I mean. Ross, the stuff that he did with um, the, I'm going to botch this. You guys have talked about it on the Passive House Accelerator a bunch. It's the solar decathlon. The stuff yep. that him and Kyle Mock have done through that and the way that they've continued to innovate in their own programs through architecture for Kyle and then Ross with the stuff that he's doing at T2. Those guys, they're next level system design. If you want your house to breathe right and be comfortable, that's the way that you go, man. It's amazing. That's the distinctive thing of how you said it. Well, uh, when people always say you want your house to breathe, it's confusing as heck. But how Travis said it, you want your house to breathe right. That's the way to say it. Because if your house is breathing, run the heck out of there. That'd be scary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Airtight, ventilate right is what the yeah. Seager boys say. And they're right. You know, you, you just got to gotta seal it up so that you control where that air is coming from. You do need fresh air in your home and your ERV right. can deliver that. Uh, but you don't really want to be breathing possum, as Allison Bales likes to say. Yep. You need fresh air in your lungs. Oh, here he is. Dave, you want to take this one? 
From Twitch, Greg says, include me in Alter Boy Friday. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have a we're gonna have to have a BS and beer Alter Boy Friday. Do those even go together? On Saturday, will I be at Alter Boy Reject? Because I didn't I didn't make it. Joe got to be an Alter Boy and they wouldn't have me. So uh what's is the reject for Saturday then or Hey, listen, my, my, after World War II, my grandfather didn't go to church month, but he always walked by the church. And, and, and the father was standing outside. He'd say, hey, Mike, you coming to church today? He said, no. He goes, what do you got in your hand there? He said, I got a fishing rod. And he said, Jesus was a fisherman. He goes, well, what's in your other hand? He said, Brandy, Jesus drank wine. I'll see you later, Father. And every Sunday, that's what he did. He went down to the water. He goes, I'm going to my church. <laughs> so it's all relative. Yeah. I grew up two, two, not even two blocks, less than a half a block from our church. And so when my aunts and family members would say, uh, were you at church? I would say every single day because it was a great place to ride bikes and go-karts and you, know, you had a huge <laughs> parking lot. Uh, but I was also the first person they called to help out on the altar because I was a half a block walk. There you go. The short well, commute means a lot. The short commute, yeah. Yeah. Um, Steven, sure, cater to Randy. Hate you guys. Hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. He loves to stir the pot. That's why I love hey, He has some more comments in there. We'll get to him in a minute. We also got Matt Bloomkus. Hey, got you going on here with the students today. Students in the house. Hey, Matt, let's bring the students on the show, but they got to get waivers from the parents first. Okay. <laughs> I think, anyhow, I've not, I've not done that before, but I would imagine at that grade. Anyhow, that'd be a lot of fun. Let's showcase what they're doing every once in a while, Matt. I think it'd be a fun way to start BS Fridays. Every once in a while, we had an inside look at the students that Matt Bloomquist is teaching and what they're doing. Wouldn't that be cool? It's a great way to show progress on their next build. Uh, yeah. We're going to get the digital twin of that build in a few weeks here as the follow-up. Uh, I know uh, Joe and Travis know, know Matt uh, yeah. and... Uh, they they actually gave him a title belt once, which is pretty darn cool. Um, do we have more questions, Dave? Because we're we only yeah got we're getting close. I'm gonna I'm gonna run through a couple comments uh, just real quick. Uh, Steve Steve's busy today. He said Peter is the man, and then he wrote stupid hat, but he's still the man. <laughs> and then he wrote Peter does exist. That's funny. Ah, Steve, never, never short for words. I love it. I love it. All right, let's keep moving down uh, along the line. Let me just see who we got here. Rob Hoskin is with us, Mark. Go for it. Yep, Rob is out of Pennsylvania there, and he says, love the point about sharing knowledge, bringing benefits for both giver and receiver. Amen. Amen. I love it. All right, listen, we're going to come back to some of the other comments that are in there. There weren't any other questions, but this is a good lead in to where we're going now. Matt Bloomquist says, can't wait for the Midwest Building Science Symposium. Okay, what is the Midwest Building Science Symposium and why should I care about attending that event? The Midwest Building Science Symposium this year is a two day event at Boulevard Brewery in Kansas City, Missouri on September 28th and 29th with six of the smartest, brightest, most generous people in our industry sharing basically the best details uh, that they've got to offer to help you improve the quality of your builds. So if you care about living in a home, if you care about making a house, designing one, uh, basically if that's the sort of thing that might interest you, yeah. this is a good event for you uh, because after Ben Bogey takes us back 50 years or more through the industry, uh, from before we thought about building science the way we do now to the high-end, super technical assemblies of today, uh, you're you're just you're off to the races, man. Ben Bogey's going to start with that. Then you got Mike Gurton, who's a legend uh, and frankly a national treasure. He's going to set up a couple mock-ups and show you how uh, you're going to have to pull the pull the curtain there, Mark. Mike Gurton's going to be talking to us about how to make your durable assemblies more durable with better flashing details. The stuff that Mike shares, he's one of the best educators we have in our industry. We're so grateful to have him for that. Then we're gonna go on to Randy and Peter co-presenting. Peter Yost and Randy Williams working together to help us understand the ways that we can improve our assemblies with building diagnostic testing. These guys know more, they've forgotten 
more than most of us will probably ever understand about lower door testing, differential pressure gauges, operating a manometer, things that even people who really should know that stuff. Did you say manometer? That's right. I don't know if you've ever heard of the Energy Conservatory, but uh, ask me about the TEC DG8, which is uh, going to be part of something else I want to talk about before we go. So those guys wrap up day one. After day one is over, all the presenters are going to sit down for sort of a – imagine your favorite poker game that you sat in uh, after the college years where everybody sat down at the round table and discussed different ideas. These guys are going to take some questions from uh, the Instagram community before – the symposium and they're going to pick the best ones for them to discuss and obviously that group that panel steve basic jake bruden randy williams pete yost mike gurton and ben bogey those guys have experience beyond all of ours put together they know what to do but they don't all agree all the time so they're going to be able to discuss the different angles of these issues they're going to have their different ideas for what climate zone you should choose this strategy they're going to help us all out with that round table at the end of day one i forgot to mention it's at Boulevard Brewery, the beer's included. For lunch, we're having Joe's Kansas City Barbecue. And if you're a follower of Anthony Bourdain's work, you know that it's on the list of the 10 places you must eat before you die. That barbecue meal is included. You got to go to uh, MidwestBSS.com to register or go through our site, uh, BSNBeerKC.org to register for this free event. But on day two, you know, you always got to save the best for last, right? We've got Steve Basic and Jake Bruton both presenting before noon on day two. And those guys are still putting the final final touches on their presentations. So I can't really, you know, you gotta hold something back. You gotta be a little bit of a tease here and there. But those guys are gonna drive home the the points that are gonna help you to get your building design right and get it built the right, right way. So that's, that's the event. And then at the end of the event, we've got something else. <laughs> you want me to talk Don't about interrupt him, Mark. He's going now. He's, I know I gotta he's I rolling. Gotta Don't interrupt him. Go, Travis, go. <laughs> So Joe and I are super excited about this. We've been working uh, with basically since Matt Bloomquist inspired us to do more with our local community in terms of educating kids. Uh, we've been working with our local school district and we're making some forays there, but we've also got a great partnership with our friends at Fine Home Building. And uh, they were generous enough to send Rob Wadsack and Patrick McComb out for day two, who are gonna record a live podcast. The FHB pod will be recorded live at a Keep Craft Alive event that begins immediately after the symposium. Again, in the same venue, Boulevard Brewery, at noon on the 29th of September, we're gonna have, Ben's gonna stick around, Jake's gonna stick around, Bill Robinson is coming up. If you guys know Bill Robinson from JLC, he's very involved with Skills USA, an oh, organization right. that's yep. training our trades every day and doing a fantastic job. Joe's action and mentorship uh, has been well documented, but he was recently a judge for the Skills USA competition this year. It's going to be fantastic to have all these folks in the same place. Mariana from EMU is coming uh, for the Keep Live event. Yeah, she's going to help us understand. Mariana's going? She's going to knock the confusion out of my mind so that I can start taking those steps. We're going to talk with the people from Stego who are sponsoring the food at the event, uh, along with Mariana at EMU, along with Rothoblos, who's going to help us with our thermal bridging through fastener solutions uh, and all of their other WRB and tape solutions. Those guys are sponsoring the food at the event. Uh, for the Keep Craft Alive event. And I didn't mention any other sponsors from the main event, which I have to do before we leave, but I'll do a crossover one here. Here's the bridge. When we were at the summit, Dan Edelman kept me out of jail because when we were at the Fine Home Building Summit, I'm at the Rockwell booth and I just said, hey man, you don't have to sell me. Joe and I have been using this stuff for 10 years. I'm in. And he's like, well, that's cool. Would you like a new knife to cut it with? I was like, ooh, yeah, I would totally like that. But he didn't hand it to me. It's like, just give me the knife, man. He goes, no, 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 you don't want this right now. I was like, no, you just offer me the knife. Give me the knife, right? He goes, aren't you going to fly home tomorrow? Oh. Do you want to spend the weekend in TSA jail? <laughs> How about I ship you the knife with some gloves and some safety glasses so you can stay safe. And Dan really helped us plan the first Midwest Building Science Symposium. And he's been instrumental uh, in working with us on the second one, too. Rockwell is sponsoring the venue for the Keep Craft Alive event which begins at noon on day two. They are also one of the sponsors of the Midwest Building Science Symposium, that two-day event, which is brought to you by, I'll be fast, I promise. Uh, Huber, uh, Wickwright, our friend Bob Kelly. We've got, oh, help me out, Joe. So many great See you Thank you. Sega, uh, Home Home <laughs> 5. We've got um, Atlas, Polyiso, Dan at Rockwell, of course, I've already mentioned. Uh, 
Big stretch. Our friends at Sashco, the sealant folks, they've got us covered. Uh, we have Delmhorst covering the t-shirts. So you're going to get a cool Midwest Building Science Symposium tee with a nice Delmhorst logo on the side. Uh, just so many great partners in the industry. So that's the event. That's the follow-up event to the event. We got a lot going on, man. You guys come check it out. So uh, I have a secret for you, Travis. I know the topic that Jake Bruton is going to present. It is called the adequate friend. <laughs> That's an excellent call, uh, Mark. It's, it was meant as a compliment is what I've been told several times. Yeah, he, he said he, uh, he was going to try and introduce you guys today, but he said, I'm sorry I can't do it, but please tell Joe and Travis that he considers you guys adequate friends. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> I think it's worth noting that without the generosity of Jake and Steve last year, the, the first annual symposium might not have happened. Those yeah. guys jumped on board and said, we'll do it whether they're sponsors to pay us or not. We're in. Uh, and the yeah. sponsors did step up and we're very grateful to them. Uh, and we're going to certainly benefit from that again this year. But the, the devotion of, of guys like Jake and Steve is really what makes this industry what it is today and why it's getting so much better. Those guys are the best. So, so Travis, maybe uh, while we're still on the show, you can you can you can text Jen and say, "Hey, Dave, can we get our butts to Kansas and bring the kids and hang out with Mariana and Bob Kelly and uh, and Jake and Randy and Ben and Steve and Peter uh -huh. and who did oh, I, no, forget? I forgot. Will you guys let me tell you one more thing? Uh, no. Yes, I'll be yeah. super fast. I promise. So uh, one of our local BS and beer members sent me a text a couple weeks ago and said, hey, we're going to have all these people at this Keep Craft Alive event. We've got to raise some money for the trades. What can we do? What's OK? I said, I don't know, Gabe. Go for it. Uh, whatever you do, we'll support you. We'll see if we can find some people that want to help out. Gabe Greider is putting together a raffle to raise money for our local trades, either through Skills USA, through the Boys Grow uh, company, which is here in Kansas City. There's a lot of different opportunities, but we're going to raise some money with the raffle. And Badger Tool Belts is going to donate a set of carpenter bags. I've heard Martinez Tool might put something in those bags. That DG8 that we were talking about earlier, because the Energy Conservatory is one of our sponsors, they're donating that for the raffle. So if you stay for the Keep Craft Alive event, be sure and buy a raffle ticket from Gabe and see if you can put some money uh, into a program that's helping our youth get better at the trades, man. Super cool. That's really great. Um, that's great. We'll have to do an added little boost about that, because if it's going for... Uh, the trades and getting that word out that that should bring a whole different group of sponsors that maybe can't hit the levels that that Huber and Rockwell and the other folks were able to do. Uh, and we all know whether it's a tape measure, whether it's a carpenter pencil, right? Uh, all these things are, are, are helpful because as a carpenter, I need 10 or 12 tape measures and carpenter pencils on every job because someone, someone steals them. <laughs> someone. You need one of those ones that go around your neck, Mark. So, you know, it just it pulls out and in, pulls out and in. You, you can't because... <laughs> <laughs> Something's in the way. So, uh, <laughs> so, so what, what day of the week is, is this? I believe it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, isn't it, Joe? I believe so. I know I'm going to be there all week, so I, I don't have to worry. About it. Basically, we blocked the whole week off. I think yeah, that yeah. is taking everyone out. Oh, yeah. Alpen Windows is sponsoring the event. I can't believe I forgot to say that. It is a Tuesday and a Wednesday, and Alpen's taking the mm -hmm. presenters out the night before to get them all on the same page uh, about having a great time and, and sharing what they know. That's awesome. Hey, we did a tour of the Alpen Window Factory in uh, Colorado not too long ago. I have some video on that what we're going to release here soon, so maybe we should tie that in with your... Uh, your symposium. That would be That's, awesome. Yeah. They got some beautiful windows. Oh, it's fantastic. I posted about them earlier today. We had a client that sent us some pictures uh, yeah. of the windows. Did you see that, Mark? Not yeah. yet today. I'm, I'm Fridays. Fridays, 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 Fridays day, windows day, 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 day. Day. Same <laughs> house, same elevation, 25 degrees different. Pretty, oh, pretty much. Oh, oh, yeah, I did see that. I did see that. It was in Joe's phone from months ago, right? Yeah. It, yeah. it was too hot here. So we were thinking about cold weather and we looked back into the, the photo archive and it was eight degrees outside. The uh, Alpins had it at 74 on the inside of the glass. 
and the existing windows in the house, which is a brand I won't name, uh, they had it at 54. Same elevation, two different products, 74, 54. It's a pretty impressive swing. What, what is the R value of the op and window you guys were using? I think it's uh, the U value. It puts it about an R6. U value. Yeah. Yeah. I had to do the quick yeah, yeah. conversion. That's not my strength. Joe's the CFO. I'm the, I'm the labor. Yeah. So I, Come on, I, Joe. I'm kind of thinking uh, on Wednesday, uh, maybe, maybe we can uh, hide a little uh, note under everyone's plate and and have everyone bum rush Dave's show on 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 Wednesday during the conference and just tackle him with comments so his head spins behind the control. <laughs> Come on, bring it! I know. For the venue, for the venue, if we're gonna do that, man, that's gonna be a lot of login. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna crash the server of the restaurant, right? Yeah. Um, I tell yeah, you, yeah, the bur of the brewery. Go ahead. Go Dave. ahead. No, you go. Oh. So I, I stopped at the brewery after touring the Catalyst Project and 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 walking through those steps with Travis. I had a, I had a nice beer. It's beautiful. It was a beautiful setting. But I think the accolades here go to the fact that you guys are doing your day job. You're doing it, and you're inspiring okay. your community along the way. Right? You're not you're not just worrying about flying your own flags. And then the fact of you were able to pull this off once. You were able to pull it off regularly, once a month with KC, right? Yep. And and then to do the symposium and follow it because people are in town with the the Keep Craft Alive. Uh, it's it's because of what you're doing, and it's because of the people that are supporting you, so that that word gets out. That that deserves a lot of accolades. That deserves the best barbecue in Kansas City that deserves the best beer and it deserves a toast. Much respect to you guys. Thank you. Thank yeah, you very awesome. much. All right, listen, we are at our hour. So Travis, Joe, we appreciate everything that you're doing out there. I unfortunately will be back in California at that time. Uh, and I don't say unfortunately because I'm going to California. I'm just unfortunately I won't be in Kansas, but I will want to stop by. I'd love to try that barbecue. It sounds amazing. Um, all right, listen, everybody, Mark, what else we got going on? I, I, I tried to put something together here. Let me see if it works. Oh, uh, perfect. There, there's perfect. your beer bong, Mark. <laughs> uh, next, next week, um, I don't know if you guys know this gentleman. He was with Mitsubishi for a long time. He was with Habitat before that. His name is Rob Howard. He is out uh, in, uh, I'm logistically challenged, but I believe it's the Carolinas. And uh, he's going to be talking through the next stage in, here, in his career and stepping out from Mitsubishi. He's become a professor, and um, so he's teaching, and he's developing a new neighborhood, all net zero. So we're going to walk through what's involved from that, and then we can track his progress over the next three years as Dave and I get older and... Uh, <laughs> You know, so we got the next three years of shows lined up with Rob Howard. And uh, awesome. I'm really excited for that. And then you got something going on tomorrow, right, Dave? Oh, got coffee with Dave, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And I am in the Carolinas, Mark. I am now in South Carolina from Biloxi when we talked the other day. We made oh. a we made a we made a 10 hour journey yesterday. So we're in uh, South Carolina at the moment. So if you're in South Carolina and you want to meet up or you got something exciting going and you're doing it better. Keyword better. I don't want to see you framing it the same way you've been framing it. We got to be doing things better. So uh, let us know. But we will be here till about Wednesday next week. Then we're heading up to Maryland. But with that said, tomorrow, join us 9 a.m. And then on Monday, we are traveling all the way to Australia. We are going to have Martin Fenn on. Martin Fenn, F E N N, MMC, Offsite Construction, DFMA, Sustainability, Innovation, and Leadership. You know what's cool about uh, Martin there, Mark? Uh, he, he's, uh, he's got a couple shrimps on the Bobby. He might have a couple shrimps in the body. They're locked down, but he does live on a national park. He said, so he's an offsite construction DFMA specialist working on the modular school program infrastructure. They've already successfully, successfully started training 
in trade schools and high schools and universities on modern methods of construction and how to use DFMA, Design for Manufacture Assembly. So uh, he is very, uh, very popular in the world of Europe, England, and Australia and all the work that he's doing to bring this to the forefront and educate the younger generation on what's out there. So you definitely do not want to miss Martin Fenn uh, Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern. And both of you, I'm surprised you didn't get up to refill your glasses of beer. I know I, uh, I'm going to the bar right now because you've inspired me to be more creative in my thought process for the rest of my Friday afternoon. That's not true. You have a Zoom meeting in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I got I to change that whole Calendly invite thing. It just allows too many people access to my time, my yeah. beer drinking time. But you can listen, you guys, 15 minutes, Dave. Come on, man. Don't sell yourself short. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I got a beer bong now, so I'm all set. <laughs> it's I'm all, all about set, it. you guys. I love Travis, it. Joe, right. bless your hearts. Continued success. And we'll pump out uh, the website when this goes to YouTube. And uh, there it is, the beautiful logo of KC uh, BS and Beer and the awesome logo that just disappeared from my screen of the Midwest. <laughs> Building Science Symposium, and it's back. It's magic. It's back. I'm gone, but it's there. Uh, guys, you rock, you roll, you barbecue, you drink beer, you inspire people, and uh, you always have a place on Dave Cooper Live, and we're really happy for what you're doing, and uh, we want a lot of copycats out there. So go do what Travis and Joel are doing. Yeah, and drink some beer yeah, and eat some barbecue that. and have fun. Thanks a lot, Thank guys. You guys. Appreciate you. Have a good All day. Right. We appreciate you guys as well. Everybody else out there, we'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on Monday. Thank you for tuning in today. And if you are not following Travis and Joe, you're wrong. If you're not signed up for BS and Beer, you're double wrong. And if you're not going to the symposium, well, that's three strikes. You're out. You need to go there and like and follow them right now, but not before you go to our YouTube channel and subscribe first. All right, everybody, I'm Dave Cooper. Travis, Joe, Mark, you guys hang tight. I'll come back to you after the outro. Bye now.